Hello everyone, Sigler here. So we got some some stuff to talk about uh, that I'm very excited about. Um, uh, I, I I I actually haven't read this one either, uh, but I actually kind of want to look into this one first because it's the runes. Because for me, the runes is gonna determine what I'm gonna play for season uh, like the uh, phase two. So I haven't watched pretty much anything. Well, not anything. Uh, just some hints, pretty much, because I've been working and been with the kids. So I haven't been able to play that much or read. So here we go. Let's take a look at the runes for Warrior, which is the one that I most likely will play. Oh, it's actually the first one. Okay, so I so actually okay. Belt boots. Oh, they're actually adding some to pants as well. Bracers. Wait, is it? Th Wait, okay. W Whoa. Wait, okay. Helmet is new. Bracer is new. Boots is new. Belt is new. Wait, four? Wait, 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 wait. That's insane. That's so much at the same time. Holy crap. Okay, let's go for, uh, through for the first one. So it's a belt. Uh, blood surge. Uh, heroic strike, blood, uh, thirst, and whirlwind have a 30% chance to make your next slam within 15 seconds. Instant and cost no rage. It's cool. Uh, I haven't really uh, played Warrior that much, so I can't really say how good Slam is. So uh, tell me in the comment if I'm being ridiculous with like saying that. Oh, is it any good? Um, I think I've heard of like I, I think I like way back in the day. I think I think Swifty was talking about like a Slam spec. That you had that you could play if you had very bad internet because it was like a slow so yeah i i'm, I'm not sure about that like i i don't know much about it so but it's it's, it's something new saying it's exciting and uh, for uh, reduce the cost of your offensive abilities by three wait is it focused rage rune is it when for when when the rage is on or is it always requires leather mail oh yeah about that one we know but that can be very good that can be very very good i mean imagine if you go to, into like if you're playing like a devastate build and then you already have like you you can you can spam out even more of them um uh, like maybe you don't have to spam out that much more but yeah it's it's something that's cool i wonder if it's up all the time or not so the belt uh slam is now instant but but has a six second cooldown that's also cool okay so those are the new belt ones uh there isn't anything else right oh, okay so those are the three mm, that's interesting uh boots oh oh that is big that is that is very big <laughs> but can only be used while enraged Yeah, but that is no problem. Like, yeah, usable while stunned. I mean, that, that's insane. That's cool. That's very good. That's a very good cooldown for a tank. I wonder what the cooldown is. It doesn't say. So that's going to be interesting to see what the cooldown is. Probably like five minutes or ten. Maybe not ten, but like five, three to five uh, minutes. I mean, it's very. It's a very big cooldown. So I would guess like five minutes at least. 
three to five minutes. Then we've got intervene, uh, run at high speed horse. Well, that's cool. Reduce their threat. That's nice. Um, Next one, Rally Cry. Sorry, I was dozing off. What the hell? Uh, Rally cry, cry. That's also a boost, uh, boots one. Uh, let loose a Rally Cry, uh, granting all party and raid members within Fort. Ooh, that is very big. That is crazy big. Jesus Christ. That is that is a very good, good uh, raid cooldown. Probably also around five minutes. I I, I guess since it, it's on the uh, boots, I guess it's uh, like the same cooldown probably because they're both both huge. So then we got the pants one. Okay, increase the stamina of all party members by two. Well, it's probably even bigger. Uh, Hmm. I mean, I, it's not it's not finished yet. So I mean, <laughs> two minutes. Damn, that's not that much at the moment. <laughs> rampage. Uh, warrior goes rampage, uh, increasing, uh, causing uh, most successful uh, increase. Wait. Increases attack power by 2% and causing most successful melee attacks to increase your attack power by an, by an additional 2%. This will stack up to 5 times. Last, this ability can only be used after scoring a critical strike. Okay, so basically we want to make sure that we have as much crit as possible. There will be crit builds out there. That is going to be interesting because... You from strength you get attack power, but like um, with this with rampage you could probably ditch. Uh, it's not gonna be that much I guess, but you could you could probably ditch strength and go agility just for the crit, because like if you can have this up all the time. Yeah, I mean it doesn't say that it wears off. Well, like it it lasts. 30 seconds but if you continue creating you can have 10% up all the time because it's 2 times 5 is 10 and that's interesting sword and board your devastating revenge ability deals uh, ability deal damage they have a 30% chance of refreshing the cooldown of the shield slam ability and reduce okay so they're gonna make oh uh, yeah that I really like what I see because this means that the, the Blizzard wants us to go protection spec, and I'm really happy about that uh, personally as a tank myself. Um, so that's gonna be very fun to do. Yeah, it will be interesting to see. Your melee critical hits uh, range, range you increasing, increasing all physical damage costs. Hmm, interesting. Damn, we're gonna have so much runes to fi to look look for. Okay, okay, helmet. Damn, they are giving us everything at the same time. Uh, increasing all physical damage you deal by 10% while you have a shield equipped and reduces the duration of all disarm effect used against you by 50% does not stack with the other disarm duration that's cool while have a shield equipped like I keep whoa Whew. I'm going warrior tank for sure it's gonna be so fun. I, I, I'm just a tank by heart. Um, uh, where was I? Here. When your rend ability causes damage, your overpower ha will be activated for. That's very cool. 
Uh, Taste for Blood is a very good uh, ability. I think it's from Wrath of the Lich King. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's from the Wrath of the Lich King. Uh, after that, we have Focus Your Protective uh, Gaze on reducing their the 3% transfer and transferring 10% of the threat they cause to you. Ooh. In addition, each time they are hit by an attack, your taunt cooldown is refreshed. Wait, in each time they are hit by an attack, your taunt. That's cool. Third oh, it's a 30 minute buff. Damn. I really like what they they're gonna do with the Holy with, with the uh, tank pal uh, tank what? tank warrior, holy crap! Well, I'm uh, I was only I'm only gonna uh, make the warrior one in this video. Uh, I'm gonna make the uh, warlock next, so stay tuned for that one. Um, it's a very short video, and I'm only gonna discuss about the warrior and stuff at the moment. Uh, let's see if there's something else here. Okay, so these are the, the the tailoring ones. Well, I mean the professional ones. What about this one? Uh, class tuning. Let's see, warrior. Warrior, warrior, warrior. Where are you? Wait, there's nothing on warrior. Hmm, interesting. Maybe they haven't data and data minded everything yet. Most likely. So, but they have Warlock, so we're gonna check out that next time. But if you have, uh, if you haven't liked and subscribed to my channel already, I would highly appreciate if you do if you do that, because considering the views and how many likes and the, uh, well, not maybe likes, but the views and the subscribers I have. Not everyone is subscribing, so why aren't you? Bork bork on you. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.